Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the words some and any. Let's begin with what you already know, how to use the words some and any in Spanish. First, here is the translation. Some could be alguno, algunos, or algo, or cualquier. Any, también alguno, algunos, or ninguno, ningunos, cualquier. Here are some examples. Si no tienes ninguno de estos documentos, puedes entregar uno de los siguientes. No siento ningún dolor. Comí algunos bombones esta mañana. Algunos de mis amigos piensan que mis chistes son estúpidos. Busco cualquier libro de Harry Potter. We are going to stop the video now and you will have an activity to see if you can determine if the following sentences use some or any correctly or not. Okay, how did you do? It can be a little complicated in English to understand when to use some and when to use any. Now, I'm going to give you the three basic rules you need to follow to use some and any properly. But remember, in English there are always exceptions to the rules. In this video, we will not talk about the exceptions. That will be in the future when you reach a little more advanced level. Rule number one, we use the word some in affirmative sentences. Here are some examples. We bought some coffee at the store this morning. I have some friends who study at the university. We will have some news soon. Rule number two, we use the word any in negative sentences. Here are some examples. I don't have any friends. There isn't any bread left. He does not have any patience. Rule number three. We use the word any to ask a question. Here are some examples. Do you have any money? Is there any sugar? Do you have any pets? As I said earlier, there are a lot of exceptions, but those you will learn later. Now, the last item to understand is that other words that contain any or some also follow these rules. For example, anyone, alguien or nadie. Someone, alguien. Here are some examples. Has anyone seen my jacket? Since this is a question, we use any. Someone is always studying in the library. Since this is a positive sentence, we use some. I don't think anyone expected that to happen. Since this is a negative sentence, we use any. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice forming sentences in English with some or any and someone or anyone. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use some and any. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck.